Are we that desperate? We're helping somebody move? What? The guy's got a lot of stuff. Work is work, and a few extra drachmi never hurt anybody. Sometimes, even the simplest things can be worthy of our attention. That is much more worthy of my attention, Varnavas. They're here to kill. Why attack this village? They're innocent. Watch out! More people near the Spartan camp need help. Persians? Eagle bearer. You? You are the eagle bearer? Go! The huntsman will be pleased when we bring him your head. You're welcome to try. What? Your some more and your story Eagle bearer. Call me Cassandra. My name's Natakas. They called me the Eagle bearer. How do they know about me? I'm not sure, but they're certainly looking for something. The Huntsman sounds like a name I should know. And if he's here, we're fucked. I need to take care of these people. That order elite passed through here, killing as he went. 
He left tracks nearby. I'll follow him. Thank you, Cassandra. For what? For helping. When nobody else would. They left none alive. They didn't deserve this. The bodies lead towards the river. Dead Spartans. And more of the river. I need to find out who did this. How do Persians know who I am? Clean kills? These Persians didn't see it coming. Guards. Must be on the right path. The elite guard. Someone got to him before me. Someone skilled. What are you doing? This is the Eagle Bearer. That's your father? The Eagle Bearer. We have to leave, Natakas. More soldiers are coming. Our hideout is below the Rock Arch. Find us there.
It's not the first village they've hit. The Order's presence here is increasing. Even more reason to keep to the shadows. And let innocent lives be lost? Innocent lives were lost. You can't do everything yourself. We have to be careful, Natakas. You know that. Burning villages, Persians commanding Spartan soldiers, getting ambushed by an angry old man. I am not in a good mood. Answers, now. How did you find us? I told her. Any more secrets you want to share? You must know what's going on here. The Persians you saw commanding the Spartans... The Order of the Ancients. A powerful secret group who have controlled Persia across the reign of countless kings. Secret organization. Few of those going around. I asked you this before, when you were trying to kill me. Who are you? Darius. I need more than a name. She's earned it. There have always been people who lust for power and control. And there have always been people who oppose them. And which are you? Let me tell you a story of the great King Xerxes. It was many years ago, in Persia. Couldn't protect you. Not from me. They've been after us ever since. It's not every day you meet someone with such a story to tell. It's not every day I tell it. But the Order... They're here now. Burning down villages and killing innocent people. What are they looking for? Not us. We were safe here. The Order of the Ancients lost our scent long ago. No. The Huntsman is hunting you. You and your kind. The Tainted Ones. And now you have a choice to make. Fight them, or disappear. Father! I need to know more about this. Maybe Natakas can give me some answers. Cassandra, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same. I find doing something practical helps me get my thoughts together. You like hunting? I do. There's deer here, usually. If you're anything like Darius, I bet you're good with a bow. I do all right. Modest. I was just about to start. Would you like to join me? 
I'd like that. It'd be nice. Let's see how good you really are. How many deer do you think you can get? Let's find out. The deer are usually around here. Darius is good in the fight. He must train a lot. Your father is a man of few words. You caught him on a more talk. What? Follow me. Stay quiet. What is it? Shh. Trust me. Look. In Macedonia? Almost unheard of. Delicious. It is. Keep quiet. It'll hear you. I can almost taste it. That makes everything better. You're an amazing cook, Natakas. Good enough for the gods. It's an old family recipe. My grandmother would be happy to hear. We should all indulge as gods when we can. Us? Gods? We could pretend for a while. In truth, I'm a Mystheus. I hunt for food like you. I work for Drachmi like you. I live on the road, like you. Yet I've seen the Eagle Bearer. Your deeds are worthy of the stories. With all that's happened in Macedonia, I guess you can't stay here. I don't know. We always run, ever since I was a child. My mother would find a way. No matter if we were by the side of the road or in a cave somewhere. She'd find a way to keep us warm, safe, like we had a home. I don't know if I'll ever feel that again. She's gone now? Years ago. Same with my siblings. The Order. The last time I saw them was the last time I saw my sister Nima alive. What about you? What about your past? I never knew a true home either. I grew up fending for myself, hoping there'd be a place out there where I'd feel, as you said, warm. I haven't found it. And anyway, I don't think it exists. We're shaped by our pasts, not defined by them. They are Persians, you say? Darius claims to have killed King Xerxes himself. Ha! Ah, you don't believe that, do you? I do believe it. Of all the lies he could tell, that's one of the most unbelievable. A lie worthy of Tholos himself. I don't know what to believe anymore. Darius says this Order of the Ancients are here to find me. The note he found mentioned others. There are others like you? If I believe him, there are. But how do I know that Darius isn't working for the cult, or in the Order himself? You say he's heard you're a great warrior. Maybe he wants to use you to help him fight against this Order. If he's not one of them. The simple question is, do you trust him? I trust Darius. He's mysterious, but not a liar. It sounds like you need to go back to these Persians if you want to know what's really going on. Darius is hiding something. That much is clear. Then be careful. Make sure whatever he is hiding isn't a trap. I'll be as careful as I always am. That's what I'm afraid of.
That stubborn old man. He left to look for the huntsman on his own. What's he thinking? He keeps saying, I work alone. But if he keeps this up, he'll die alone too. He needs my help, our help. Fathers always think they know best. You've seen his scars. They come faster as he gets older. We've got to help him look for the huntsman. So what's next? My father is following up on his leads, but I have leads of my own. The huntsman has lieutenants doing his will while he remains hidden. We have to find them and get them to reveal his whereabouts. I'm sure we'll find a way to figure out where the huntsman is. One of the huntsman's lieutenants is a recruiter. He rallies locals to his death squad to hunt you down. You should know, I shared this lead with my father. I also have a contact who was supposed to spy on the Order activity, but she was last seen in the wetlands. I'll look for her there. Lastly, people are falling violently ill in Potadea village. I suspect the Order. Your contact in the wetlands. Any idea what happened to her? I sent her to spy on an Order lieutenant there. He commands the local Spartan troops in the area. I fear what he might have done to her. We need to save her and see if we can get more information on the Huntsman. I need to know more about the situation in the village. The locals are very ill, and the Order must be behind it. The Magistrate is taking charge of the situation, but I'm doubtful of his intentions. You told Darius about an Order recruiter. Where can I find your father? He might have learned something new. The recruiter has been holding meetings around the farms in Macedonia. There's one near the hideout. I'll investigate these leads so that we can find the Huntsman here in Atakas. I'll see you at Potadea. I have to investigate something. Unless you're here to fix my problem, I am not interested. Oh, the eagle-bearing Mystheos. Ah, Cassandra, you've arrived. Great. This is the... Another joins the fray. If you people have no important business here, I suggest we break up this party. <coughs> Please, I'm healthy. <coughs> I promise. That man's afraid. Where are you taking him? It's not your business, Mystios. Any sign of this sickness has to be cooled, whatever it takes. You must be the magistrate in charge of Potidia. Tell me about this illness. Looks like word of us is spreading. Just like this foul plague. All these idiots are falling ill quicker than we can find a cure. I heard that there is a doctor in this village. We're looking for her. Aren't we all? That Malakas went off to find ingredients. I even sent men to bring her back. If you have so much time to stand around the chat, why don't you help? I'll find this doctor. Good. You do that. She's never around when you need her. If you can't find her, don't bother coming back. If you catch whatever's going around, I might need to make space in the cards for an extra body. I should be the least of your concerns. I'll find this doctor and bring her back. You better. You must have some idea about where the doctor might be. That Malakas left toward the forest, blabbering about ingredients. A plague, a burned village. This is no accident. Of course it's no accident. We've been cursed. I'll take a look around. Let's meet back here after you're done. There are a lot of forests in Macedonia. Where exactly can I find the doctor? Somewhere east of Potidaia, following along the coastline. I sent some men after her, but they haven't returned. You're the man in charge. You must have some idea of what's going on with this sickness. I only know it started around the time that village burned. You seem like you know something about the fires there. I don't know anything. I want nothing to do with it. I'll see to your doctor now. 
Make it quick, Mistios. Where is that useless doctor? Be the doctor from Potidea. The magistrate's looking for you. Of course he is. I knew something was amiss when his guards appeared out of nowhere and attacked me. He seems to take uh, extreme measures. That's true. And although I understand his concern for the village, it shouldn't be at the cost of innocent lives. Let's get back to Potidea. Not yet, Mistios. My ingredients were stolen by bandits. I need the ingredients to save the village. Innocent lives are on the line. I'll get your ingredients. As expected, you are as kind as you look. I'm grateful for your help, Mistios. You must have a plan to save the villagers. This illness, it's slow and suffocating. But my medicine is the key. The village is counting on me. And now, they are counting on you. I'll get the ingredients. Ah, and I'll run back to the village and get a head start on a new batch of medicine. See you in Potidea. I'll be back in town, Mistios. Bring my ingredients there. Attack the doctor. Onward! Get the oars out! Here we go! Enemies are close! Get ready! What's going on here? Cassandra, I found poison in the water supply. This is definitely the work of the Order. Mistios, you've returned in one piece. Listen to me while I'm talking. You're trying to sabotage us. Don't deny it! Magistrate, please try to relax. People have been drinking your medicine, but they all died anyway. Your cure is useless, just like you. 
suggest you calm down, Magistrate. The doctor's medicine has only made our situation worse. As expected, the doctor is the one everyone blames. All I've done is help. Someone like you, who kills problems rather than solves them, wouldn't know anything about it. Enough, both of you! One of you is behind this, and I'm going to find out who. The ingredients you use for your medicine. Why don't you take a sip, doctor? It... it's not necessary, Miss Theos. Let's I focus... Knew it. it was her. Malaka! Your medicine was a fake. It killed everyone. <laughs> As expected. A little too late, I'm afraid. Already more than half of this village will die a slow, painful death. You took long enough. I sent word the moment I saw her. Here, eagle bearer. <laughs> Too late, Eagle Bearer. We got you now. So many lives were lost. Liar. No crisis to break the war I knew my men attacked her for a reason. I only hope you made their deaths quick. Did you find any clues on the doctor? A note. What do you think? My wolves howl, my boars snarl, and my crows conspire. All for the blood of the tainted one. You will bring them to me as expected. So the huntsman commands beasts who'd usually tear each other apart. Great. Something to look out for. The Order did this? They did this because we were here, to draw us out. Father was right. I understand now why we live in the shadows, why we run. This, this is my fault. We must learn from our mistakes, Natakas. I appreciate your words, Cassandra. We can talk more back at the hideout. I have been at the mercy of those beasts. Did Nataka send you? You must be his contact. My son was spying on an Order member. It was his first job, but he got captured. I shouldn't have agreed to let him be involved. It wasn't your fault. Your son made a choice, and you respected it. He had a life ahead of him, but now... 
Where did this madman take your son? His soldiers took him downstream. They're going to finish him off, Mistios. Please, save him. Tell me more about this madman. I've heard things about him. The calls of beasts herald his approach. But I've only seen his guards, and they dragged my boy away. Mistios, please, bring my boy back to me. You're injured. Stay here while I find your son. Please hurry, Mistios. They could be flaying him right now. I need to find her boy. Hope this madman she's talking about didn't get his hands on him. This is a bloodbath. What happened here? These people were exposed to the elements and tortured in these cages. Fog is rolling in. What kind of monster would do this? These tools were used on the victims. Wolves aren't to blame for this carnage. This door is locked. But the blood trail leads further into the swamp. Please, let me go! Somebody help! There he is. <laughs> it's okay, your mother sent me. Calm down, boy. No, don't kill me. Stay away from me! Come back! Your mother sent me! Malaka! Boy! Come back! Stay away! By the gods! What happened here? Boy! Get back here! Where are... What is this? Don't come any closer! Don't worry. You are safe now. Come over here. He's dangerous. You killed them! You killed all of them! You are a smart one, young man. You'll know no more pain here. Run along now. So this is Darius's dog. The one looking for the huntsman. Tell me where he is before I slice your throat. It's always violence with you, isn't it? Just like your master. Tell me, Igobel. Do you truly trust Darius? He's honest. That's enough to earn my trust. You should be careful who you're running with, Igobel. Do you even know his name? His true name? You think you know Darius? Xerxes thought he knew Darius. Whatever you're up to, you won't succeed. But I already have. You are here, aren't you? What do you think of my display? It's the work of sick and twisted minds. You are right. Don't you remember these faces? You killed these men. They had friends, lovers, families. Did their loved ones really deserve to die? Do they not deserve their revenge? They were killing innocent people. I had to stop them. You are not the judge of what is right or wrong, killer. I would be dead if I hadn't fought them. But now they're dead. All of them. So much suffering. We... We're going to start a family. Stay back! They... They were in the way. So you killed them? My son! You took him away from me! You always have a choice!
you won't force my hand, I won't kill you! Well, well. It seems like the Eagle Bearer has a conscience. Marvelous performance. Very convincing. You tricked me? Theatrics, yes, but also truth. You killed those people. You ruined lives. And you'll never stop. So we'll never stop hunting you. Not until your kind are gone and the Verit is safe. Till we meet again. Eagle Bearer. Huntsman awaits you in the forest. In the forest? Malaka! I'm coming for you, Huntsman. We may have been tricked, but I still don't forgive you. Found you. I'm found when I want to be. Nataka says you found something. Could it lead to the Huntsman? The Order has been making plans. You want the Huntsman? Then stick around and help me stop them. I'm listening. One of the Huntsman's lieutenants is in charge of recruitment for the Order. In Macedonia. So we locate him and we'll have a lead. Look for any notes, messages, ledgers. They will tell us where the next meeting is, and do it quietly. I'll do my best not to be seen. Good. And you? I'll go down to the village and find out when the meeting is taking place. When I'm done at the fort, I'll meet you there. That is said to keep this quiet. Goats shall bleed, and the moths will draw to the flame. The snake will be reborn, new fangs, new skin, new life. Maybe Darius will know what this means. Meet me tonight beneath our favorite tree. I need you. Mmm, steamy. That's what I'm looking for.
Good shipment delivered. Village cook has verified contents. Ordinary receipt. Not helpful. That should be everything. Time to meet Darius. How did it go? Everything went well. No one even knew I was there. Indeed. What do you make of those? They don't look like secret messages. This note. New fangs? New recruits? And bleeding goats? A goat farm. Like this one. That's where the meeting will be. The Order uses goat's blood in their initiation rituals. The nodes meant nothing to me. Your knowledge of the Order is helpful. What else do you know? I know the meeting is soon. There's always a signal to draw them in. There must be more to the note. This part about moths to a flame. If they use goat farms, they might have been here. We should look around for clues. True. Where do you want to start? That granary over there. It's small, but full. I'm sure people still flock to it like... Bees to honey? I don't think so. Me neither. This is about flames and fire. There's something here. Maybe that rack of wine jars over there by the house. There could be goat's blood stored in them for the order ritual. We already solved the goat part. Right. Look, soot and ash. They must have used some of these pyres in their last meeting. You're onto something. This does seem suspicious. Take a closer look. Somebody has been burning hay here. The flames are the signal. Which means night is the only time they can meet, because... Moths to a flame. That's right. We just have to wait for the meeting to start. There's another goat farm nearby, across the bridge. Good. I'll meet you there at nightfall. The meeting is soon. Come. The huntsman will be pleased with this turnout. The recruiter. To the matter at hand, the equal bearer. Your mission is simple. Bring me her head. I'll flank them. Don't let him get away. We shouldn't split up. Don't. Laka. Wait for the meeting to end, or go in now? Where did Darius go? Drink, and consider yourself one of us. We play an important part. There you are. Take your head myself, Igor Bearer. The Hansman will be pleased. Another note. 
I expect good news about the recruitment. Report to me at the lake. The Huntsman. A lake. Interesting. Where were you hiding? Closer than you'd have thought. You were never in any real danger. You left? Why? I needed to be sure you weren't with the Order. You still suspected me? And you've never questioned my relationship to the Order? This is not the same. I thought I had backup. I know you're clean. And we've got our answers. The note said that the Huntsman is near a lake. I have other leads to follow up on. And I'm sure Natakas has more for you. Whatever Darius is hiding, I'll find it. I should go back to Natakas with his clues. He might know what to make of him. You're back. What did you find? Clues. Maybe you'll know what to do with them. One, the Huntsman is supposed to be waiting in the forest. Two, he's surrounded by animals. And three, he's by a lake. I think I know where that might be. There's a crack in a cliff face that leads to a glade. If it's where I think it is. Let's go. I can't. Not yet. This is the Huntsman. We've suffered at his blade for years. Father should be there to see him die. I'll find him and join you in the glade. If the Huntsman is in this glade, I won't be able to wait for you and Darius. I'll be there. I wonder what the Order has planned for me this time. Hopefully, fewer death trees. The Huntsman has to know something about Darius. I'll get it out of him. I'm closing in, Huntsman. Takas and Darius better get to the Huntsman's glade in time. I can't wait for them. It was your game in the swamp. All to help you understand the truth, Cassandra. You are no hero. Been called a lot of things in my time. Heroes not high on the list, so... This isn't news to me. You are tainted. The blood flowing through you has the power to raise kingdoms, to alter the course of entire civilizations. Burn this world. We must bear you first. You called me a tainted one. You are a tainted one. You think you're unique? A god? No. You are less than human. You are a weapon. A blunt instrument too dangerous to wield. I specialize in hunting tainted ones to keep the world safe. You know nothing about me. I know more about you than you know about yourself. I've carved through many of you, Ego Bearer. I can carve through one more. You can't know what I'll do or who I'll become. I decide my fate, I decide my future, and I've decided I'm a threat to you and your order. Ha 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 
Disturbance of Morgus Wondav, the terrible threat of Persia. You're no different from the others. <laughs> I heard the order of the ancients were to be feared. Persia's greatest, most dedicated warriors. Yet you cower in the dark, huntsman. Some battles are best fought from the dark. You disrupt the natural order. And thus, you are unnatural. It will be my pleasure to restore order. To do nature's will. To return to the dead. Let's see how far we can be Look how you believe. There is nothing special. Where did he go? I must track him down. Maybe Icarus will have... Looks like the Huntsman might have slipped through here. Stinks down here. Animals. Come, Cassandra! More suffering to this world. It ends now, monster! You are a creature of chaos, Cassandra. Everything you touch dies screaming. Only you must be. The Order will outlive you. Oh, my God. 
It's over, Huntsman. <coughs> oh. Is that what you think? Entrance. Took the easy way. Artabanus! The betrayer himself. So you are Artabanus? Pactius. After all you've done to this family? How does it feel to have them watch you die? Is that how Artabanus tells it? No. He started this. What is he talking about? <coughs> we trusted him. I loved him. We were all as brothers. But he drew his blade against us. Did you not consider the cost? They'd be alive. Your mother, your siblings. <coughs> May as well have killed them himself. You're in the Order. You deal in lies. Why would a dying man lie? Darius! Say something! Yes, Darius. Tell them about our promise. To protect Persia. Our children. Their future. Then... Then why did... Why did you betray us? To keep that promise. It's time I told you the truth about Artabanus. Protector of Persia. We'll feign a frontal assault on the convoy, drawing away the majority of Xerxes' forces, giving you the chance to... <laughs> <laughs> Xerxes won't know what hit him. Tomorrow? The Order's tyrant dies, and Persia will be safe. <laughs> there will always be more tyrants. And there will always be us to stop them. King Xerxes had died, but his son continued his legacy. The new king needs to die, Amorgus. We can't just stab all our problems. Artaxerxes is king now. His father and his father before him were order puppets. With the order, we can take no chances. What if the order aren't our enemy? They're powerful. Maybe if we work with them, we'll have all the resources we need to protect Persia. Artaxerxes dies, as does anyone in league with the Order. As I suspected. I can't let you in there, Atovanus. They got to you. No. I went to them.
This king hasn't done anything. Yet. Gods! Traitor. Amorgas joined the Order of the Ancients. From that day, he's led the Huntsmen to destroy us and the Tainted Ones. He was my closest friend. Through war. Your birth. When he called the guards, he doomed our family. The moment you drew your blade against the Order, you doomed us. Did you ever stop to think who else your blade has killed? Mother? My brothers and sisters? Me? My son. I think of nothing else. Pactias's death will be a beacon to the Order. Amorgis and his full might will rain down on Macedonia. Father, we can't stay here. I'll pack the hideout. Go. I have an old friend to bury. Darius? Cassandra. Sometimes I think about a simpler life. A small stall in Yavara, fish. Teaching my son how to catch them. Do you ever wonder about a simpler life? I fight for the greater good, for the ones I love. But it's always the ones we love we hurt the most. Attack us. Bring your coat. You'll need warmth for the road ahead. Do you think we'll see each other again? I do. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Pactias is dead, but the Order lives on. And with Amorgas at their head, none of us are safe. He'll bring his full might against us. Warriors, wit, cunning. He'll never stop hunting you. Or us. Against us, he hasn't got a chance. to see me and see who this is. After Macedonia, after the Huntsmen, nowhere in the Greek world will ever be safe. Not for us. We can never rest. 
We can never stop running. No home, no connections. Sounds like a lonely life. But it's still life, Cassandra. And the alternative... Better a lonely life than no life at all. Will Natakas join us? That's why I sent the note. Trouble? We came to Achaea seeking a ship bound for distant shores. A simple plan, but like so many simple plans... It got complicated. That fleet is bound for Patre. It's not the first. Something there is not right. Relentless military patrols, naval blockades. Natakas went to secure us a boat out, but he hasn't returned. You must have some idea about what happened to Natakas. He's smart, knows to keep to the shadows. With this much military power stationed in Achaea, he's more likely hiding than... He's out there, Darius. What do you think is going on here? Something big. Natakas may have learned more about what's happening there. It could be the Order. All the more reason to find him. Natakas won't be hard to find. He took that road to Patre. Then that's where we start. Follow me. Ooh. I've done it from higher. Hey! Hey, you! You on the roof! Yes? That's not your roof! You're right. We will, Darius. We will. After Macedonia, but before Achaea, what were you and Atakas doing? Surviving. Mm. Sounds boring. You were hoping I would entertain you with grand tales from my legendary adventures? Well... Yes. We've kept to the shadows. Stayed away from people. Dawn is safe, Cassandra. Adventure is not. Ah, and the... These weapons belong to a soldier, not Natakas. Keep looking. Uh, heavy armor and blood, but no body. Natakas must have been in a hurry to leave such a mess. There is, there is no sign of Natakas. Just supplies and military equipment. He's staying out of sight. Good. Sandra, over here. A path leading up to the mountains. Let's go. Sure, Natakas went this way. Sometimes you have to look further and think harder. There were guards in the bridge. Didn't you see? It was too exposed. Natakas would know better. See that. Working on it. This 
This one's third. Searching for something. Look at their body language. They want blood. They'll get it. We need a plan. If Natakas is hiding here, he could be drawn into heavy battle. If we move quietly, we can pick off the guards one by one. A wise plan, Eagle Bearer. Clear the perimeter. Quietly. They won't ask me questions. Let's keep out of sight. You side. take that one. Hey, good kid. I'll take this one. This kid's mine. Cassandra. Told you we'd meet again. Trust me, I said. It must be hard for you being right all the time. It's a burden I do my best to bear. Well, I'm glad to see you, Cassandra. And I'm glad to see you. When I heard you might be in trouble... You jumped on your horse and raced to the rescue? I'm not sure you needed rescuing. Still. My son. <clears throat> There's something else. We need to find my mother. There are still people who need our help. People who have been stranded in Archea. The soldiers took them to a fort, not far from here. I'll go there now. More soldiers could come looking. If we leave the bodies out here, it may attract unwanted attention. I'll gather the others while you hide the bodies. The stranded people are at the fort, on top of the cliff. Return safely. Bring my mother back to me, please! Ah. I should go to the fort. Hmm. Pretty sure I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> Run. The others are down the mountain. Oh, thank Zeus. And you. Huh? Get to the bottom of the mountain. There's people there. They will catch up with us soon. Mother! My child! You're safe! Thanks, Zeus! Cassandra, you're back! 
you're the Mythios who saved us. Thank you. I'm Kleta. I'm sheltering the Stranded in Vura, a village not far from here. I've been in Achea for a long time, but something has changed. A dangerous presence is closing in. What do you know? Everyone in Achea knows the Tempest. She's the most ruthless commander to ever sail the Aeon. No one's faced her and lived. And her rage. Poseidon himself fears her. I house those who can't escape the Tempest's wrath in my village. But I can't stay here forever. The harbor is closed. Soldiers are combing the area looking. I'm working on a plan to get them out of Achaea. If you can help, Mistios, come find me in Vura. She knows more than she's saying. It doesn't matter. The Order is here. Amorgus and the rest will not forgive our actions in Macedonia. Amorgus will not forget the Huntsman's death at the hand of a Tainted One. His cunning... ...is sharper than any blade. He may already be here, observing us, learning from our movements, from our choices, discovering our weaknesses. The stranded people come from both foreign lands and all over the Greek world. Merchants, farmers, sailors, families. They're being imprisoned and interrogated. They're being asked about Macedonia. These people are suffering because the Order is looking for us. These people need our help. We have to do something. Isn't this what we're fighting for? Aren't they worth the risk? We can't save them. Not if the Tempest is still strong. We need to hit her hard. It's the only way to get the stranded people home. We should get started. Where will you start? Patre is overflowing with the Tempest forces. I'll look for leads there about the closed harbor, and maybe more about the Tempest herself. That woman, Clita. There's more to the Tempest tale than she's telling, but she needs help. The people in Bura need help. They could do with someone like you. Then I'll pay her a visit. Your father sure knows how to make an exit. Where did he go? <laughs> He's been following up on some leads in Patre. Look for him in the hull of a ship near the Patre Harbor. He's made a small hideout there. Against the three of us, the Tempest doesn't stand a chance. We'll break her? And then, he'll be free to leave the Greek world forever. I'll go to the harbor and track down the Tempest. She can't be the only Order member in Achaea. I'll keep an eye out for the others. See you soon, Cassandra. You will. Find Tharius and attack us in Patre, or I could look for Cleta in Bura. Hereclata. Mythos, you came. Thanks to you, these people are safe. Call me Cassandra. Looks like the stranded people are settling in well. Resources are scarce, but we make do with what we have. These people have nowhere to go. Maroon, alone, far from home. I try to provide them a little bit of comfort. It's normal to be uncomfortable. Better, even. That's a principle of Spartan training. It's how they become such fierce warriors. 
You remind me of my daughter. She was always aspiring to be better, to be great. <laughs> We all have things about ourselves that could be improved. These people will have to be their best selves if they're going to escape the Tempest. Her forces are monitoring the ships in and out of Achaea, and their control over the island is growing stronger every day. We need to get them out of here. Will you help me, Cassandra? I'll help. What do I need to do? Leaving Ahea is not going to be easy, but I've spoken to a few of the Stranded and we've come up with a plan. Find Dorondas. He's overlooking the fields. He'll have more information about this. of settling down is like a dream to me. I seem to go from one problem to the next. In that case, welcome to Vora. What brings you to Achaea? I've traveled across many seas, Mistias. The blockade paused my journey as a merchant, but Kleta gave me a place to stay. When you've been through as much as I have, when you've weathered the most horrific and turbulent storms, you start to appreciate the simple joys in life. Like Vora. A place I could call home. I fear these quiet times won't last. All peace is hard-earned. It should be treasured. My sentiments exactly. Cleta sent me to you. She said you lost your ships. Indeed. We are in troubling times, Mistyos. Achaea is growing more dangerous by the day. And we need to escape while we can. I've discussed the plan at length with Cleta. Keep and... looking! Guards. They've upped their patrols. I caught their attention at the fort. They're looking for more stranded. We mustn't let them disrupt our peace, Mistyos. Deal with them quietly if you can. I'll get Kleta and the rest to higher ground. I have to stop them before they get to the village. Another one. Be careful. Remember what happened at the fort. Turn over every Oh no! What was that? They... They say she has the power of the gods! It threw you! Thank you, Cassandra. I... I knew they were on the move, but I didn't think it would be so soon. We need to set our plan in motion. Tell me what needs to be done. We need a mode of transport across the Aegean. The ships we came in were taken when we arrived in Vora by the foreman of the docks. Perhaps we can strike a deal with the foreman to get them back. I have the time to help you now. In that case, we should bring you up to speed on the foreman situation. I'm listening. 
She's quite a character. I've heard rumors that he frequents a tavern in Bellini and drinks as if to endlessly worship Dionysos. Word is, he doesn't take well to mercenaries. I can get people to like me. I'm sure you have your ways, Miss Dias. My daughter, she always loved the water. As a girl, she always wanted to steer when we rode out to sea. As she got older... I've never stopped wondering if she will come back to me. Tell me more about your daughter. As a child, she was unusually strong. People would say her goals and ambitions soared far beyond the norm. Her strength wasn't the only thing. <laughs> her temper matched that of Poseidon in a storm. Do you have any idea where your daughter went? She left without a word. Every day I yearned for her return. I sometimes think I've lost her for good. There must be a reason why you're telling me about your daughter. My Phila. She captains the Skilla now. Your daughter is the Tempest? It's been years since I've heard from her. I, I, I pushed her too much, too far. And now it feels like I've pushed her away forever. She's an adult now. She makes her own choices. Don't blame yourself. Now isn't the time to dwell on the past. Orondas needs our help. I'll go to Bellini and make myself useful. Here, Cassandra. I should get to Bellini. the man we're looking for, Mistyos. Hare! Hare, my friend! <laughs> oh, I, I recognize you. I took your ships, didn't I? At the docks! <laughs> We've come to get those ships back. Why would be my first question. But then I realized I don't really care. <laughs> because you're a Mistyos! <laughs> Let... Bygones be bygones, my friend. We drink! Except for the mercenary. Now, sail away from me. <laughs> All right, you can't. <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sure a smart man like you knows when to make a useful friend. If you help me, I'll help you. Helping you would cost more than my left arm. If I am to risk incurring the Tempest's wrath, there should be a sizable benefit for me. I heard valuables can be found at Shipwreck Cove, not far from here. Or I could always use more Drachmi. Hmm? You can buy wine with Drachmi. I'd rather not run around. Here's your Drachmi. <laughs> Now we're talking. Uh, make sure it's enough. Uh, my friendship doesn't come cheap. A deal's a deal. I never go back on my word. Only a dishonorable Malakas will break an oath. I'll give you your ships back. Uh, but good luck getting past the Tempest. Just take a good look outside at all those wrecks, Mistios. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thanks to you, Mistyos, we have what we need. Now, we... Horondas! Cassandra! Mm. 
Mistios, no need for bloodshed. I just need you to come quietly, please. Releasing the stranded people has angered the Tempest. Someone just needs to take a responsibility and everyone will be fine. Take me then. They have nothing to do with this. I'm the one you're after. We have done enough. There's no need to escalate this further. Promise me that you will see our plan through to the end. She's becoming someone I don't know. No matter what happens, blood is blood. She's still your daughter. Parents always believe in their children. As foolish as that may be. I should have stopped her sooner. Stopped her from joining the Order. I should have. When the time comes to face the Tempest, I feel... A What will you do, Cassandra? I'll do my best to bring her back. I was so proud of her. I don't think I ever told her that. There are still so many things I wish I had said. I should go help the rest. We'll meet up in Patre when we're ready. Thank you, Cassandra. For everything. Look, a weapons demonstration. Expecting you, Tempest. My weapons, Lieutenant. Where are they? They're installed, but not tested. Fire them. But it's not stable. Fire them. You stay here. awaits my return, but first I will inspect your work in the shipyards and see what else you idiots have managed to mess up. Move! The Tempest. This won't be easy, especially if they get that weapon to work. If they manage to harness that kind of power, the Adrestia might not be able to match it. I don't think a fleet could. We need to be a step ahead. Sounds like you have a plan. We need to go after her. If we can end things here, we're all the better for it. We need to catch her. Let's go to the shipyard. It's not too far. Come on. The 
the shipyard. The Tempest will be easier to find if we split up. The woman in charge, do you know her? I... I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Something doesn't feel right. <sighs> Just food and kitchen supplies. The woman who came by here, where is she? She left, I hope. Poseidon, save us! Something is out there. Or someone. Have you seen the woman in charge here? Don't let them hear you. There are eyes and ears everywhere. Someone is following me. I'm looking for the woman who runs this place. The weapon is not ready. It's not. It's... <laughs> I didn't find the Tempest. I found this. The Order suspects we're in Achea. They've tasked the Tempest with capturing us. We walked into a trap. Father, he'll need to hear about this. Quickly! We're being followed. No, we're being hunted. There, that warehouse. I'll draw their attention and hide. You can take it from there. Yes. Cause a scene and head to the warehouse. I'll stay back and see how many there are before making a move. Are you ready? How could you? I love you, you monster! Don't come near me! You over. won't get away with this. The Tempest will hunt you down. Tell me where the Tempest is. What's her plan? <laughs> She's building a weapon to be installed on her ship, the Skilla. And she's locked down all of Achea to trap you, Eagle Bearer. There's nowhere left to run. The Skilla will blow you out of the water. Her fleet will crush you! <laughs> You'll never defeat her. Go. I'll see your father first, then meet you at the ship hideout. If the Tempest is looking for us, then destroying her fleet should get her attention. Getting ready for something? Good. You're finally here. You mentioned something big is about to happen in Achea. I've heard that the Tempest chief engineer is developing a new weapon. Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks. It's not working yet, but it will be a problem when it does. He's trying to flee Achea. If he does want to escape, maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the Tempest. 
He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself. But it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgis. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgis. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakis' heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. engineer is here, but I don't know exactly who it is. It should be easy enough. The code word is, I am Poseidon's chosen. My friends, we have come a long way. This I looks like the place Darius months. mentioned. You have all traveled to be here. So thank you for coming. I speak. I am Poseidon's chosen. Right, and I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. I am Poseidon's... Idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here, pestering people. Who told you about me? A friend of mine has been asking around about you. We heard you want to flee a here, and we can help with that. Uh, such freely offered help often comes with a hidden cost. Not this time, I promise. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I've heard about. The Behemoth's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended. more about this secret weapon. What does it do? It's meant to engulf enemy ships in a torrent of flames. And it works extremely well. Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Himera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. If the Himera's breath is as powerful as you say it is, it would be helpful. Once I'm done with your ship, it will crush the Skilla. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. 
Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of it. for the Chimera's breath. Time to head back to the amphitheater. No! No! They must have found the engineer. Look, boys! First the runaway engineer, and now the eagle bearer. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Lucky isn't the word I'd use. Oh, look who decided to show up just in time. Kill them! Kill them both! The Tempest is more shrewd and careful than we expected. We should warn the others. They might be in danger too. I'll have Arnavas take a look at the plans. In any case, we shouldn't linger here. Back to the shadows then. Father almost killed her when they first met. If I hadn't stopped them... <laughs> really? Good, we're all here. We've done everything we set out to. Now, to get the stranded people out of Achea. The Tempest is on her way to install the Chimera's breath on the Skila. But we have the Chimera's breath now. The Tempest will never know what hit her. We've done what we can to prepare. Now we have to execute. We'll surprise the Tempest. Varnavas and I will launch a sea attack. Using the Chimera's breath to disable the Skila will be our best chance to get everyone off the coast. The merchant ships? The destruction should buy time for them to leave. Natakas and I will make sure everyone is on board the ships. This is our chance to leave Achaea. If the Order knows both of you are on those ships, you'll be in trouble. If you're caught on the water, you'll have no way out. What do you think, Natakas? It's our only chance. You have to take it. We will. We'll need somewhere to stay until then. Somewhere that won't raise suspicion. I know just the place. A house on the hill near Dime. Let's go there now. Look at this place. It belonged to a friend of mine. He tried getting out of Achaea, but he didn't make it. I need to prepare the others. 
See you too soon. There's something about this place. It's a beautiful place. Peaceful. I know. Too bad we won't stay. So, what's next? We'll probably keep running, as always. At least there's wine. At least there's wine. That's how I grew up. <laughs> Ooh, but seriously, your father is a very capable man. He is, but emotionally he is hard to open up. It's hard to make friends for people like us. Living on the move as we do. Oh. We've met each other. To our friendship. To our friendship. <laughs> Malaka. Malaka. This reminds me of when we met in Macedonia. We ate boar beneath the stars. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. I haven't felt that since. Until tonight. Then let's make the most of it. I should find Darius and the others. The stranded people are probably at the docks already. My friends... It's probably the last I'll ever see of them. The last time I saw my Phil, we were arguing. We always did. I wish I'd told her how much she meant to me, how proud of her I was. Now that she's back, I'm scared I won't recognize her. Real connections with people are rare, Cassandra. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. Real connections are hard to find. I may be letting one go right now. I don't know. Captain! Hey! Captain! What's going on? A massive fleet has gathered nearby. They seem to be waiting for something, but we don't know what. The Tempest. This ship. These people. She knows. Somehow she knows. They're going to kill us all in one swift blow. We won't be destroyed. I'll sink every last ship. How? Barnavas, ready the ship for battle. And the Himera's breath. It isn't ready yet. We haven't even finished assembling it. I'll need... We'll start without it. Keep working. I... Latakis and I can handle things here. Good luck, Cassandra. Come. The Chimera's breath sure would help right about now, Barnabas! Oh! 
You bet Poseidon's ass, Captain! We're working on it! Armavas! We're working on it! Salvage nearby! Another ship! Look at the size of that thing! She's on there. The Tempest, Phila. She's on that ship! Breath is active, Captain! Let's bring Aiden to our Let's see what this thing can do. <laughs> Anything. Tempest! Neither of us has to die. You! Amorgus told me all about the Tainted Ones. It is not your fault you were born as you are, but it is your fate to die like the rest. I will do what the Order needs done. Fela! <gasps> you! What are you doing here? There's so much! I want to say so many things! Please, give me a chance! You had your chance! You had years! I had to protect you! I was drowning! Who do you think pulled me out? You? The Order is my family! You are just a memory! My past! You'll never be one of them! You're a tainted one, Fila. What? I know what I am. Amorgus gave me purpose, guided me. I'm no monster. I am the Tempest. You don't have to prove anything to anyone, Fila. You don't have to be the Tempest. You can just be you. That's enough. Can't you see that? No. We might be tainted ones, but that doesn't make us who we are. No. I control my fate. I control my future! Please, Phila. Let's just talk, you and me. Forget everything here. Come with us. She needs you, Cleta. Please! You still have family! You used to love me! <gasps> Mate! You're my daughter, Phil. I should never have pushed you away. I have always... Phil... This is 
all your fault, Eagle Bearer. Your fault! I carve you from the face of this world! Face me! Your mission, Tempest! It's the will of Amorgus! We are not your enemies, Vila. The Order think they can control you, that you are nothing more than an instrument who kills on command. Be more than that. Don't let them take away your humanity. Stand and fight! Please don't die. I have... There's still so much I need to say. You're my daughter, V. I have always been... So... Cassandra... There is no simple life for us. Only death. <sighs> I always knew it would end like this. <sighs> Father, the waters are open. We should get out while we still can. At least they're together now. There is an attackers will be leaving soon. I should see them before they go. There is an attackers should be safe now. The Greek gold can cause them no more pain. They can finally leave safely. It's a good thing. Hey, Eagle Bearer! Over here! You once told me of a dream you had, a simpler life, a small stall in the Agora, fishing with your son. I remember. Are you going to do it? I might, someday.
boat sailing with or without you. It's now or never. Cassandra. That is. So, this is it. This is it. Real connections with people are rare. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. Stay. Please. I wonder if Darius has kept watch all night. Better say good morning. You really don't sleep, do you? The soft kiss of the breeze. The smell of the ocean. Why should I sleep? I'd miss it, Cassandra. I'd miss all of it. The hungriest warrior in the Greek world has ravaged our milk and bread supplies again. Typical Spartan stomach. His appetite may consume us all. More milk and bread it is, then. I'll go by the usual. Double. But here. I was supposed to pass these to the merchant, but I got carried away with the, uh... He has that effect on people. I'll deliver this for us and, uh, buy double the usual. The Agora should already be open. Be home soon. Milk and bread coming right up. Cassandra! How's my favorite customer? Tired. Hungry and tired. Ah, it was the same for me. Enjoy these years. I will. I, I am. Anyway, here's what Darius owes you. We'll need double the usual. Milk and bread, please. Ah, uh, about the bread. I ran out of wheat. I was supposed to fetch some from the farmer down the road. Perhaps you could help me with that. For my favorite merchant? Anything. Thank you, Cassandra. I'll be back from the farm soon. It's not too far away. Ah. The wheat farm isn't far. This will be quick. When's Elpidios visiting? <laughs> Soon enough. Fish, oh, uh, no thanks. Ugh. How can this fish be so stale? We live by the sea. The merchant sent me to pick up his wheat. Excellent. It's right there by the fence. 
Είτε εν μουσική, εν ρυθμότιμη, άντετε και εργάζεστε. Here you go. Your weight. I'll make the bread right away. Can't leave my favorite customer waiting. Here you go. Bread fresh from the oven and milk straight from the goat. I'll see you sooner than I'd like to. This stuff won't last long. Sometimes I think Elpidio keeps my whole business running. <laughs> it's very possible. Go vanquishing evil, of course. Milk and bread. Check. Better get this home. Even the mysterious can call home. Hey, look who's home. my Elpidios? How's my son? <laughs> he missed his mother. And she missed him. Promise me, Cassandra. This is our life. This is our home. Do you remember Macedonia? Of course. Walls of dust and flame, the huntsmen. I remember you, Matakas. Only you. Home isn't a place. It's people. It's us. As long as we're together, we're home. You know, Elpidios, that's where your mother grew up. Kefalonia. Right there. But it wasn't until I came here, until I met you, that I truly felt home. Cleta and Fila on the beach that day, they couldn't escape their fate. It always ends in blood. My family ran for so long, but maybe some things can't be outrun. We never know what's coming next. All we can do is what we believe is right, and deal with the consequences. This fight we have with the Order, this war, it's not going to be won in my lifetime. Or yours. Maybe I was foolish to think it could be. But fate does not define us. Our actions do. Our little Leonida spoke his first word today. What? I didn't hear. That's not possible. What did he say? Grand Pater. Or maybe he burped. It's hard to tell at his age. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my genius grandson? Who's just like his grandfather, Darius? <laughs> Is there anything more beautiful than this? A simple life. Get word to Persia. Send the fleet 
Send everyone. By your command, Amorius. I'll see you soon, old friend. Cassandra. There he is. I heard you coming, you know. I wasn't trying to sneak. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you. They've missed you. You know there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Adventure calls to people like us. For so long, my purpose was Persia. She was all I could see. But a parent's duty is not to their ambition. It's to their family, Cassandra. How's my boy? Oh, he's in terrible danger, Cassandra. Elpidios is missing. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're playing hide and seek. Again? You know, it was Natakas' favorite game too when he was Elpidios' age. How are they? We've been getting used to being in one place. It's harder than you think. Heard anything about the Order? Nothing, no news. After the Tempest, they've gone quiet. They're never quiet. Is Elpidius at the usual spot? <laughs> he loves that beach. Make sure you find the boy. I always do. After you, that is. Come, the beach is this way. You're still quite fast, Darius. Maybe you're just getting old. <laughs> Seek with Alpidios again? <laughs> of course. They're at the beach. Shh. Natakas told us not to say anything. Thanks for the tip. I faced walls of flame. The skies black with arrows. And more beasts and blades than Heracles himself. But none match parenthood. It's a different kind of battle. You'll do fine, Cassandra. You are doing fine. Wherever could Elpidios be? Elpidios! Who is eh? Mother's coming to find you. Elpidius loves splashing around in the water jars. I wonder, is my little warrior here? Hm, guess not. Where's my baby? Where's my son? A tent. We used to sleep in one and watch the stars together. That's where he must be. Oh, no. Elpidio sure is great at hiding. This shipwreck looks like it can hide Elpidios and his pater. Let me take a look.
found you. Whoa! Isn't Mater a mighty Mystios? She will surely tell tales of this epic adventure for years to come. Don't forget to pay the Mystios for her heroic services. Ah, my usual rate. Welcome home. I've missed you, my love. Both of you. How's our littlest warrior? Been on more of your famous adventures, no doubt. <gasps> A cyclops? Oh my! Huh, you slew how many Athenians? Impressive! You're putting Vrasidas' record to shame! <laughs> oh, stop! How have you been? Safe. Feeling safe. Relaxed. Except our little warrior's appetite keeps growing. Greedy boy. Darius sent me a note. Something about the celebration? We figured it was time for a little family gathering. And it's not a family gathering without a great feast. Elpidius and I will prepare the boar, won't we? War. That takes me back. Cassandra and I will go look for some shellfish. We'll have the fire ready by the cliff. See you later, little warrior. Come, Cassandra. It's been a while since we've had some time to ourselves. Darius seems happier with Elpidius around. Grandchildren have a mysterious effect on people. But I'm surprised you can tell behind all that here. What do you think Elpidius will be when he grows up? You mean he will join the family business and spend his days mysteriously across the Greek world? It's not a bad life. I've got a boat. A ship, even. <laughs> He'll be whatever he wants. He'll be more. He'll be our son. Spot. The pools are the perfect size for Elpidios. It's been a while since I had shellfish. Spending time with you like this is... I like this. Me too, Cassandra. Me too. Do you think Elpidius looks more like me, or like you? He's good looking, so... Me. Definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably... Should do for our feast. You might have left some for everyone else. <laughs> Let's head back to the cliff before father returns. There's something I wanted to show you. The cliff is this way. With Elpidius around, it's been hard to get time together. He's a very demanding little boy. He gets that from his mother. This view is just... Breathtaking. You said you had something to show me. <laughs> Maybe. Don't keep me waiting. We need to be quick about this.
I haven't lost my touch, have I? It was great, <laughs> but this isn't why I brought you here. Ah. I brought you here to show you this. This looks like a charm of some sort. My mother gave it to me when I was a child. This will keep you safe. May it see you through any storm. She was right. It brought you here. I wish I'd met her. But now, I don't need it anymore. Natakas! I will never fail you or Elpidius. You have my word. I know. Here he comes. Here comes my big man. Elpidius is hungry. Well, he's had a big day out with his grandfather Darius. Elpidius can stay up a little later. He needs his rest. He's had too much fun today. I should come with you. We'll be fine. Say bye-bye, Elpidius. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement of living on the road or do you enjoy the quiet life it's too quiet <laughs> uh -huh. I'm used to the growls of stalking wolves blades being unsheathed in the darkness Dime is just too quiet enjoying being a grandfather children are wonderful but to love so deeply is terrifying don't spoil him too much. Too late. This is it, Darius. A simple life. Coming. Mother's coming. Atakas and Bidius. Hold on.
Artabanus. Cassandra. Welcome home. Orondas? You are with the Order. He is the Order. Amorgus. I trusted you. Helped you. My friend, it's been far too long. We were protectors, Amorgus. Champions of the people. This is wrong. This is necessary. I take no pleasure in this. I needed to draw you in. It's you I want, Cassandra. You and your bloodline. Don't you dare touch it! Cassandra, go! Get Elpidios out of here. We'll leave together. No. I will make sure the Order can't catch up to you. There's too many. You don't have to do this. We've no time to argue. Go! Think about the child. I love you, Natakas. Father, come back to me. Keep them safe. Promise me. I promise. It's me you're after. Here I am. I won't let you win!
Amorgus. Did you see him? No. The beach. You promised to protect them. You promised to keep them safe. I should have stayed behind. I sh should have been with them. <laughs> it's my fault. I did this. We're supposed to pay for our pasts, for our mistakes, not our children. There's no sign of Elpidius. He's still alive, Darius. I know it. If the Order have him, we can find him. you love before how how did you survive who said I survived thank you for all of it. Every wonderful, painful, beautiful moment. For every moment spent with you. I love you, Matakas. I'll find our boy. I'll bring him home. Trust me. Cassandra, by the gods, oh, I am sorry. The Order did all this. This weaponry they brought would make even Ares turn his head. There's only one place in the Greek world that makes anything like it. Messenia. 
They came for us. For me. If the Order is in Messinia, that's where I'll go. Darius! Eagle Bearer. Never thought I'd find you here. Count yourself lucky. I didn't mistake you for one of them. What are you doing in Messimia? If Elpidios is alive, he's with Amorgus. And Messenia is Amorgus' stronghold. Looks like you figured that much out on your own. But it'll be hard to find him. He's too well insulated. I will tear this city down. Start kicking in doors, kicking in heads. Nothing will stand between me and Elpidios. No. It has to be more precise than that. Amorgus won't be defeated that easily. Amorgus has the entire Spartan army at his back, led by some of his most trusted commanders. It will be tough to get to him unless we weaken his forces. We can do that. The Order has a large production line for their weapons. There is a commander behind it all. Start by speaking to the Ilotes. They might know where he is. Also, the Cult of Cosmos is reinforcing the Order in Messenia. And an order commander, Democratis, is in charge of seeing that through. If we cut him down, the cult will no longer be in our way. I'm good at culling the cult. And there's one more thing. I've heard that the order has captured an Athenian general. He is integral to my plans. You will need to free him and give him this letter. And then I get Elpidius. Tell me more about Democratis. Amorgus put him in charge of the Order's dealings with the cult. He's well known, but he seldom makes public appearances. This is a rare opportunity to get to him. This Athenian general, what do you want with him? If we free him, we will have a powerful ally. Where can I find the Ilotes for information on the commander? In Epia. That's where all the weapon manufacturing happens. I'll get it done. We'll strike them hard and fast. We? Oui? It will be faster and more efficient if there's two of us. Getting Elpidios back is my top priority. I'll tolerate you until then. Good. The feeling is mutual. I've wasted enough time here. Come back when you finish disrupting the order. There's more to be done. Huh? Idiots! Stay right stealing our supplies right. again! When will you learn to mess with us? You want me! Yeah. Stop your whining! Stop your whining! 
must be forgotten, friend. <sighs> Freedom, thank you. You saved me. Thank you, Mistios. Have you seen the Elot named Rodi? Yes, she was taken to the center of Epia. I heard she's going to meet her end there. The town center. I should hurry. your mouth. Oh. That's what you get for taking what isn't yours. Your death shall be a warning to them all. I don't care who the food belongs to. We were hungry. If you're here for the show, I think you'll have a clearer view from down there with the rest. Who are you? I'm here for this woman. Ah, she got caught stealing from the kitchens again. We're under strict instructions from the commander to ensure that stops today. I need her alive. Release her and no one gets hurt. There's a price for everything, Mistios. We'll need Drachmi to replenish our food supplies. I'll pay for her. <laughs> well then, it seems that I forgot about the extra cost for our troubles. Torture is hard work, you know. Double it and I'll give her to you. Hades! Don't give him a single drachma! Shut up! Fine. Take your payment. Actually, there's... Don't push it. Okay, okay. Take these filthy malakas and go. That was close. Thanks, Miss Theos. Good thing you came along. Bye. Wait! I'm looking for the commander. I was told you know something about him. The commander? Oh, I know him all right. <laughs> Brings back fond memories. I used to work for that Malakas. This commander sounds terrible. He's ruthless, Miss Theos. He would work us till our hands were red and raw, and we'd bleed and cry until dawn. Even the children weren't spared. Which is why I have to pinch food when I can. It's never enough. Point me to the commander, and I'll stick my blade through his throat. You're looking to kill him? Mm-hmm. Great. Things are happening in Messimia, Mistios. Look at how we're suffering, how the children suffer. There must be something better out there for them. I have a plan to get the children away from here. My son and the others. Help the children and I'll help you. I'll do it. But you better tell me where the commander is. So kind of you, Mistios. I promise you'll find your target. Just don't guard him in front of the children. What's your plan to get the children out? We have a fisherman nearby who is being paid handsomely for the job. We need to take the children to his boat near the docks, but we need to leave soon. Time is almost up. Lead the way. Follow me! No time to talk. We need to go. Now. Who's this? A mysterious friend. She's going to help us get out of here. All right, everyone. Matter says to follow the mysterious. 
Stay in the group so we don't get lost. Stay in a group so we don't get lost. <laughs> this is serious. Do you have a hero name, Miss Fields? A hero name is all the only greatest, bestest heroes. It is usually a combination of a cool animal and the weather. Tell her your hero name. Mine's roof. Mine's salt lightning. Roar. He's taking rain. <laughs> I didn't choose that name. I hit you. Look who we have. I knew I would find you here, Eagle Bearer. You caught me. They were right. You're always at the center of the chaos. Now, why don't you step aside and let me do my job? I'll deal with you. And you after I take the children away. They have work to do. Leave the children out of this. <laughs> I'm going to have fun watching you drown in your own blood. Time to die! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Shut up! You children are too noisy! I'll make sure you learn to hold your tongue when I'm done! A boat is waiting. I need a hero name, Mr. <laughs> Why don't you choose one for me? Hmm. Oh, oh, ah, since she has an eagle. Eagle, eagle Thunder. You did it! It's time for you to go, little pebble. You're not coming? I can't. I have to stay here and work hard so I can visit you one day. No! No! Where's my mother? Where's my mother? <laughs> Can't be without you, Matter. You will hug me when I have a bad dream. Mistyus, I I'm not sure. Now that we're here, I don't know if I can bear to send them away. <laughs> don't make us go, please. You have to go. Messinia is crawling with danger. It's not safe for children. But what about our parents? What will happen to them? They want what's best for you. Now go. The boat is waiting. Here, my pebble. Things will be better for them out there. You're right. If the children stayed, I don't know if we'd be able to protect them. I hope they have a better life ahead. Better than we could have given them. We will always fight for our children. Always. And you got your commander. Thank you, Mistyos. May our paths cross again. That's the meeting place. What do you know about this man in Amorgis's inner circle? Democratis. Drachmi is his weapon of choice. If we kill him, the Order's ability to influence the Greek world will be severely damaged. His death will bring us one step closer to Amorgis. To Elpidios. 
I like Drachmi, but it can't buy the kind of edge my blades provide. Not when I'm driven to find my son. There's only one problem regarding Democrates. What's that? I don't know what he looks like. Then we'll have to listen closely when we approach. If anything goes wrong, remember, it's Democrates we're after. The order has arrived. You're late. We arrived precisely when we meant to. Remember, once Democrates shows himself, we kill him. Or we can kill everyone. Best stay out of sight. have allowed themselves to be pinned and mounted by this mysterious and perfect bird. Consider this your final chance to do your duty and back us up. You clearly don't know the Eagle Bearer. And who are you to throw away our alliance? As far back as Xerxes, we've been working together towards peace. Peace? Don't lecture me about peace. You're the ones who plunged the Greek world into endless conflict for your own benefit. You think we don't know? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Amorgas was right. How far the cult of Cosmos has fallen. The value we've given to this alliance are metaphors. I should kill you where you start. Think very carefully about what you're about. Strike you down. You just keep paying, and we'll keep our end of the deal. This meeting is over. So we continue the arrangement? Democrates! That's him. That's Democrates. I've got to return to Darius. Democrates is dead. They deserve to die for what they've done, Darius. Every last one of them. Cassandra. They're between Elpidios and me. People call me Eagle Bearer. The what? You heard me. It just... I've heard the stories we all have, but I never thought... I don't have time for stories. 
Right, right. It's these Malakis Spartans. We desperately need to loosen their grip on this region. Will you help us? At the moment, I'm not a big fan of the Spartans. Or their friends. The Persians. You know. I know those Kert Spartans are richer than I've ever been, and should have run out of resources years ago. I was told to give you this. Uh-huh. It seems we have common enemies. I can help you and your allies with your plan, but to do it we must kill the Spartan leader here, in Messenia. What's so special about this particular Spartan? He is a butcher. He's killed more Athenians than anyone, and he takes joy in it, I tell you. We know his location, but my men and I haven't been able to get close to him. You'll find it easier with me around. There. That's his fleet. Ah, oh, his fleet, you say? Or, or! Fast as we can! Much more. That Spartan dog is just a memory now. You did it? Couldn't have done it without your help. Of course. So, about the letter you gave me? I'll need you to live up to your end of the bargain, if you want the Persians out of Messenia. Uh, you can count on our help when you are ready. We've weakened the order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. What are you doing here, child? I have a note for you, Eagle Bearer. A man in a mask told me to take it to you. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to? Eagle Bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle Bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yergis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Vime. Vime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I don't trust you. I've your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer. I've written many stories scattered across the Greek world. I spread the word of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Nero, the Order sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Naka! <laughs> Look around us. Such promise. 
You must be wondering why we hunt you. Come on. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, oh, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like vultures to a battlefield. And so you <laughs> should exist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? Disgust me. We are not the enemy. Have you considered yourself? In our eyes, you are the manifestation of turmoil. Disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Cassandra. There are many perspectives. <laughs> right. oh, look at that view. Messinia. Quite a beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I know what happened in Vima. How Natakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Or oh, so we thought. Until we heard the cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft, but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidius. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist them. It was futile. The baby was all that remained. I will find Amorgis. I am sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy? <laughs> People die, Cassandra. Eventually, we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who helps others in need. Hmm, insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? Leave. Before I change my mind. Your baby, Elpidius. He is safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Cassandra. The next time we meet will likely be the last. Natakas, Hippidius, I'm sorry. That is? We meet again, Eagle Bearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus's guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? Natakas died protecting Elpidius. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Tarius. They found Natakas in the shipwreck. He tried to fight them all. This was Natakas's. I haven't had a chance to... Uh... I forgot I even took it. He's gone. 
is really gone. And he's never coming back. I'll never forget Darius. I miss him. Even now. I miss him so much. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. If Amorgus is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. to find the boy. It is. Where is Amorgus? The mines! But you'll never get around his defenses! Nothing is impenetrable. We'll find a way in. You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgus that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here, at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him, for Elpidios, and I don't knock! I'll take care of the order guards. I need to get to the mines. I'll take out as many as I can on the way. She must be here somewhere. You can't hide from me, Amorgis! Again, Eagle Bearer. You know this can't end well, Yeris. 
Just walk away. It's not that simple. Amorgis has orders and I have duties to fulfill. And I have no intention of walking away, Cassandra. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgus awaits you in the temple. Amorgus is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgus has nothing to do with it. Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Yeris. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified? For the greater good, Cassandra, all things are permitted. Water's coming. Yeah. Calm, aren't they? Moments like these. The moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Cassandra. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Think about where we're going, Amorgis. This path can only end in one place. Unless you tell me where to find my son. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I can't do that. I once swore to the people I loved I would crush the Order. Believe me, I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> the Order's plan goes well beyond you, Cassandra. What? Ever the hero, thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written by us. 
We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. How could you think I... I don't want a war. I want my son. You don't want a war? You brought one to my door. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus. I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost among us. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting her raise him. Where is Elpidios? Tell me! Tell me! Cannot raise the boy. With you, he'll never be safe. He's my son! You remember the truth I whispered in the ear of King Xerxes? Remind me, old friend. For all the Order's power, they could not protect, not from me. We must protect the people we love, Amorgis. That's what I'm doing. Rises, but she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors, Amorgus. We were champions of Persia, of the people. I still am our Hobanos. I only wanted to keep our home safe, the world safe.
the child of Morgus. Please. He's on a small island just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Cassandra. You and your boy will always be hunted. And he will always have me to protect him. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. Not by blades, but through knowledge, through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother, to stop them. Go in peace, old friend. If Amorgis was true to his word, Elvidios will be there. Mother's coming. over my son every day every night a morgis made sure of it thank you you know he has a real spartan appetite <laughs> tell me about it Mother's got so many stories to tell you. <laughs> oh. And you've got some stories for Mother too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes? You know my father. We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. Time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What will you do? Marcus was right. I am fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And... What will you do, Darius? Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy, Cassandra. Be a guardian to Elpidios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his matter, <sighs> what should I tell him? Tell him he had a mother, and a father who lived incredible lives, who saw incredible things, and none of it was as incredible as him. His smile, his love, the sight of him asleep in my arms. Should the day come where he feels unloved or alone, you tell him there is no such day. Because he will always be loved. You hear me? You will always be loved. You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down. But you will get up, Elpidius. Because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong. And because we always get up. You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son, and I'll always fight for you. You and those that will come after.